Silence is not golden in the case of this crisis for the royal family, particularly when so many people are clamoring for information. And not just at a local level or country level, it's global at this point. The internet, news media, news outlets, they all want answers and the royal family is not giving them. Now, the most recent headline from all of this is that there has been a security breach um, at the hospital that Kate was treated at, all to obtain her health records amid all of this questioning. Do you think the palace should pivot their approach at this point, given this new situation and level of violence? A security breach regarding private medical records is definitely serious. However, the news follows the pattern that we've seen almost weekly, almost daily at this point from the royal family. There are so many different narratives that everyone is hearing about on social media and in news outlets, but the one narrative that we are not hearing is the truth and what is actually happening behind the scenes at, uh, within the royal family. And how does the royal family and the palace gain the public's trust back? How long of a road will this recovery be? This will be a very long road back for the royal family in terms of restoring trust. Anything short of having Kate Middleton appear in public in an interview explaining exactly what happened over these months, I think people will always have some skepticism and doubt when it comes to the royal family, particularly as we're also heading into a time when King Charles is sick. At this point, I think the skepticism and doubt is at a heightened point right now with the royal family and I don't think it's going to waver anytime soon. There's been a lot of chatter online and certainly in the press about these conspiracy theories around Kate Middleton, anything as you know simple as growing out her bangs to something more serious. We had in a, a Spanish television program report that she was in a medically induced coma. But all of these theories really should be defined as questions. Uh, people want to know what is happening with Princess Catherine. Without any truth or transparency from the royal family, these types of theories are going to continue to percolate out there until the truth is revealed. Now, why do you think, because it seems like there could be an easy solution here, why doesn't the palace organize a public appearance for Kate to put these rumors and conspiracy theories to rest? Is that a good idea for them to do at this point? Well, it's likely that we had an unofficial outing of Kate Middleton with the stroll in the uh, Windsor Farmer's Market, the tabloid video that came out, but that was not official. For the royal family to sanction some type of outing, it would signal that they do not have anything to hide. Uh, it would signal that uh, Kate Middleton would be amenable to actually doing an interview. It just seems from this point, from all of the machinations and engineering that we're seeing, that it feels like they're trying to deflect attention from something else. Uh, Kate is being scapegoated, I believe, uh, to deflect with probably other news that's happening within the royal family. Now, speaking of that video that emerged from this weekend of Kate and William at the farm shop, um, people are obviously even questioning that it's even her in the video. Um, we had Andy Cohen tweet that it's not her. And we had a BBC reporter in a now since deleted tweet say it's clearly not her. Uh, how bad is it for the palace that even a journalist from BBC is questioning something like that on such a public platform? The video of the stroll between Prince William and what appears to be Kate Middleton is taken with the same, I believe, grain of salt as the Mother's Day photo of Kate Middleton with her three children. As a crisis communication strategist, the question I'm asking is not, is that Kate Middleton or not? I want to know, why did they agree to drop this type of video out there? My feeling is they knew it would cause a lot of chatter and they knew that people were going to talk about it. And again, it seems like a deflection maneuver as opposed to trying to show everyone that Kate is alive and well. And from your experience, what is the you know motive behind taking that approach? Is the, what's the usual reason for doing something that way rather than more of a public appearance or official appearance? 
historically watching a lot of these crises that you know happen in current events and in the news and certainly with my clients whenever i see moves that don't quite make sense they feel like red herrings to me this signals that there is some type of cover they do not want particular news to come out of buckingham palace perhaps kensington palace it seems that with the influx of narratives and the daily influx of narratives and hearing from anonymous sources and friends close to Kate and William and the Palace Insiders. There is so much information, we almost can't even keep track of it. At this point, what we need is clear communication. Clarity is king when it comes to managing a crisis and the royal family is failing miserably. You know, with social media and news and that line meshing and becoming gray, Going back to that BBC tweet where that reporter said it's clearly not her, should reporting, especially from the BBC, be more objective? I think the reporting right now on both sides of the Atlantic is quite objective. Early in January, when we heard about the reports of Kate Middleton, it seemed as if the UK press, they were being very cautious in their reporting because they've been dealing with court cases with Prince Harry and Meghan. So that caution played out for some time. But now with all of the wild narratives that are happening, they cannot help but report on what is happening as well. And here in the US, we're following it because the news changes so quickly, we cannot keep it straight. When the press deems something suspicious, that is usually a red flag that something is. What do you think the palace, their team, should be getting into a room and discussing a lot of things? Um, but in terms of a, a legitimate news source tweeting something about Princess Kate, how should they react to something like that? I don't think we've seen any plan of action whatsoever, or at least a coordinated one. Uh, they seem to be in damage control mode where they are reacting to public sentiment and they're reacting to the news stories out there. I think one thing is clear is that they are starting to sense that they're losing grip on the story. It is starting to slip through their hands at this point. Uh, whether or not a BBC reporter or if it is millions of people on the internet, they know they've lost control of the narrative yet we have not seen them act accordingly it still appears that they are going to keep putting out these narratives for everyone to take in and the press to report but the suspicion continues and you said that you know this this story is slipping out of their hands it's slipping out of their fingers what should have been the earliest and smartest move for the palace to avoid everything that's unfolded when was the point in the beginning that they should have jumped on this the question of when they should have jumped on the story and what are the tactics that they should have done to manage this crisis first has to be asked only if something isn't happening behind the scenes if this truly was a crisis that was confined to kate middleton's health what they should have done in the beginning is been more open and transparent, probably with her recovery and what is actually happening to her. When we heard that there was a planned abdominal surgery, yes, that is serious. And yes, she is allowed her privacy, but it was also an opportunity for them to connect with audiences who could relate to going with whatever it is that she was dealing with. But because we still have yet to hear what that surgery was, it leaves, again, a vacuum that people are filling with lots of speculation. What is your opinion mm -hmm. on how all these crazy theories um, are eroding the public's trust and even their trust in credible news sources? As a crisis communication strategist, I do not look at any of these theories as conspiracy theories. When the public starts asking questions, it means there are holes in the story that need to be filled. That is what's happening here. This is not about the internet run wild. This is not about the internet taking the fault or the blame. The royal family is acting like the Wild West right now, and there isn't any type of planning or transparent communication that is coming out of the palace. So how will it end? I think it's only going to end when something happens. At this point, they have lost so much trust 
The only thing that I think will quell it is if we see some type of media interview with Kate Middleton, where she explains exactly what happened, talks about the medical condition and why she needed to be private. And we hear from Kate and we hear from the royal family. But short of that, I think that this is going to be a reputational challenge for years to come.